Hey guys, welcome to another Hunter video. I am a Night Elf Hunter on the Whisperwind server, and this is my fourth guide to the Argent Tournament. So I've just done five days of dailies, and I've gotten 25 Argent Marks. After turning it in, you'll get a quest called the Valiant Challenge. What you have to do is hop on your ratio mount, the mount that you have, and go over to the west side of the Argent Camp and talk to Squire Danny. And when you're there, you will summon the Argent Champion. And what you have to do is just make sure you have three stacks and fight them like any other mounted quests or mounted dueling combat from uh, all these quests. The only thing is, this guy is not as easy. He casts his shield a little more, he plays a little smarter, so we really need to get the original quests or dueling down, then you'll be able to down him fairly easily. So I just completed that quest, and now I've gotten two achievements. Uh, so one of the achievements is Champion of the Darnasses, and the other one is Exalted Champion of Darnasses. And to get Exalted Champion of Darnasses, you need to first be Exalted with, in my case, Darnasses. It could be Stormwind, Ogrimmar, or any other one, whichever race you are. And along with these two achievements, if you get Exalted Champion of your home faction, then you will also get a title. So right now I am Tribunal X of the Darnassus. Or of Darnassus, rather. And so I'm gonna show you some more quests. Head over to the west side of the Argent Camp. So why you? So when you get to the west side of the Argent Camp, go into the tent and just get every single quest and daily quest that are available to you. So the first quest I'm going to show you is among the champions. What it requires is you go to the south side of the Argent Camp and hop on any of the racial mounts, and then make sure you have your lances and start fighting these champions. Now they're just as tough as the Argent Champion that you fought in the earlier quest. Uh, a, tri a trick or a tip that I didn't show you in my last video is in order to get into range of these guys so that you can use your shield breaker or charge is select them and hold your right mouse button so that you are strafing and keep on looking at them while pressing the left or right. So what happens then is you will actually still look at them while running away at full speed. And this way you'll get enough distance to first use your shield breaker and then go in and start using your normal melee attack. And it will take them down fairly easily. And right now I've gotten so much practice with this, it's come to the point where I don't need anybody's help and I could get them down with still probably 80 or 70% of my health left. The next quest I'm going to show you is bring the battle to the enemy. And what this is, is just like any other uh, scourge killing quest in Ice Crown. Instead of killing um, 6 or 8 or 10, right now you just have to kill 15. So fairly simple, just like the other one. So the next quest I'm going to show you is battle before the citadel. And this is kind of the same kind of quest as the other mounted quest at the Court of Bones. And what you have to do is kill more enemies, and this time you have to kill a commander. And the commander is not an easy fight. Uh, he's pretty hard, and he does quite a lot of damage, and if you die, he'll actually kill you. So, here's some strategies in order to fight him. Get up to the commander, or close enough, and use your shield breaker, which is your ranged attack. Drag him as far away from all the other enemies as possible, and then you need to just charge him. Charge him, charge him, charge him until he dies. And you have to try to make sure you have three stacks of shields. He will uh, de debuff the shields like all the other mounted duels, um, except this guy just hits a lot harder. So, after you kill all the needed enemies, you go back and turn the quests. Now while you turn the quests, you get to choose between two different types of rewards. One is the champion's wilt, and the other one is the champion's purse. 
Now, the Wilt will actually give you, ex or not experience, uh, will give you reputation with your original faction or any faction you are a champion of with the Argent Champion, um, or Argent Tournament rather, and the Purse will actually give you 10 gold. So if you're already exalted, I suggest you take the Purse. And now the, the next quest I'm going to show you is the Black Knight's Fall. And what you need to do is come to the south of the Argent Camp and talk to Squire Calvin. He will summon the Ar um, the Black Knight. When the Black Knight comes, he is going to be in a Black Griffin. He's not going to stack any shields, so just chase him and melee him down. He's going to go down fairly easily. It's not a hard quest by any means. And once you get him down to 5,000 HP, or the mount to 5,000 HP, he will make you dismount. And then you will have to fight him one-on-one -on -one off the mount. So just kill him off. He has 12k health. Fairly easy to kill. Once you kill him, go and turn in the quest where you got it. Now once you turn in the quest, you'll get an achievement. Achievement called is just a flesh wound. Now after you have completed this quest, go to this guy here and he will give you a new daily quest. The daily quest is called a, th a threat from above. And this will be a group quest. I've tried soloing this and the guy just murdered me. So you need at least one or two other people with you. So you need to be an ice crown around the top center of the map. And I've partied with one other person, a druid, and this person will heal me as my pet will tank, Choma, and three adds that are on top of his back. For this fight, it's very simple, it's just the tank and spank. They don't really do anything special. The adds will drop bombs onto the ground, but they don't do very much damage and even my pet can take it. So let me tell you about the best part of the Argent Tournament, which is the rewards. So after enough dailies and after you get enough champion seals then you'll be able to buy tabards, ground mounts, flying mounts, summonable pets, uh, you can get a faction tabard or I'm sorry a faction banner as well as some welfare epics so if you're a dual spec and you have say a healing spec or a tanking spec here's some cheap and easy epics that you can get solo Another good part about the Argent Tournament is once you've completed these quests, you'll get another, I guess you can call him a quote unquote pet. Um, it's the Argent Squire. So, once you use the item and summon him, it's a cute little kid that summons up. He'll run to you from off in the distance. And when he comes to, you can talk to him. And once you talk to him, he'll ask you for a banner to use and for this since I'm a champion of Darnassus I'm using the Darnassus uh, champions banner or pennant and he will carry that and run around with me so a fairly cool and nice reward for quite a few days of dailies and that's it for the fourth guide of the Archer tournament thank you for watching and take care